Hey y'all, Arbor Andy here. Today, we're going to be looking at Little Jumanji Cup. And Grass Egg, my Ultra League Ferrothorn's son, Baby Grass Egg, has come to dominate the Jungle Cup. Paired with double water and single moved because it takes 12 Metal Claws to get to Flash Cannon, which is way too long, so Iron Head is good enough. Into our first match against the Doug Trio. It's a neutral match, so I switch out to my Marsh Tomp. They get off 5 Mud Slaps and switch into their Skarmory. I throw a Surf for neutral damage, and they shield. It's a Shadow Skarmory, so this is good, and it's also a Steel Wing, which means they get to Sky Attacks slower than we get to our Surfs. So we're going to go ahead and throw the other one, doing a ton of neutral damage. Still trying to get to their Sky Attack, and they do. So I'm just going to shield here, because I'm going to go for the aggressive farm down. I realize these Steel Wings aren't doing that much, and we do. This is perfect. We have a Grass, a Chikorita comes in, unfortunately so we're going to go ahead and throw the surf for some chip damage doesn't do that much and we get farmed down this is okay because i can handle it with the pharaoh seed pharaoh seed comes in we start throwing these metal claws and they're going to throw a body slam most likely because the grass nut would be double resisted body slam is still resisted it doesn't get stab more energy efficient i suppose so the dead trio comes back to throw and i shield this was questionable because I think I should have saved it for the Chinchu. But I could go ahead and throw this Iron Head, hoping for a shield in return, and I do get it. So I quickly switch into the Chinchu and throw the Bubble Bee and hopefully lower their attack. Hopefully I'm going to survive this next Mud Bomb. But it KOs and we're good to go. The Chikorita comes back in to farm down, but we get to the Bubble Beam. So we can lower the attack. But it's not going to matter too much because the Pharaoh Seed can take any attack that Chikorita throws. And he throws anyways instead of farming down. I think that was a mistake by the opponent. Although his attack was lowered so there was no chance. So we come into Metal Claw down and he throws anyways. So we're going to see how few this damage does. Body Sand goes through. Yeah, Pharaoh Seed can take this. Let's get it. Hopping into the next battle. Up against the Crustle. This is a positive lead for us because our Metal Claws will be doing super effective against Crustle's Rock Typing. They switch into a Grimer and we switch directly into our Hard Counter, Marsh Tomp. We're going to throw these Mud Bombs as soon as we get to them, but they got a Mud Bomb of their own. I'm going to let this go. It's really going to hurt, but we resist these Poison Jabs, so we're going to be able to take them and not worry about fast move damage. Mud Bomb coming through and they get the Shield. Perfect. Poison Jabs still hurt, but we get to our next Mud Bomb. This is definitely going to be getting the second shield. And there it is. That's perfect. That's okay. I'd rather take shield advantage over switch advantage because I know Pharaoh Seed can handle both these Pokemon. I'm going to come back in with the Pharaoh Seed and shield up one of these Mud Bombs just to preserve some health on the Pharaoh Seed. Mud Bomb coming through and he's in perfect farm down range. So we have a ton of energy for the next Pokemon to come in because I doubt it will be the Crustle. It'll be the Chinchu. So I come in with my own Chinchu. Now I need to win this match because the Iron Head that I have stored on the Pharaoh Seed will definitely not KO the Chinchu. Both Electric and Water resist the Iron Head. So that'll be double resisted. So I'm going to shield the x here. Even though I did lower the attack, I need to come out with a ton of energy for this. I go for the aggressive farm down and I get it. At this point I think the opponent realized that and surrendered. So GG's. Up against our next Dream Lead. You absolutely love to see it. So they're staying in for four charms, but then they make a swap to Altaria. So I'm going to go directly into my Chinchu here. Build up to the Thunderbolt and go for the Bubble Beam Bait. This forces a CMP tie, so I'm still going to shield this resisted Sky Attack. It's still going to hurt Chinchu. Because we've gotten farmed down by Dragon Breath, so this is not good. I go for the Bubble Beam Bait, and we get the shield. This is amazing. So I am going to go straight for the Thunderbolt here. Hopefully they don't shield. But if we do, this might be a little rough. And they do shield. And they farm us all the way down. So now they have a loaded move. Now, this is unfortunate because I do have to come in with the Marsh Top here. Because it can definitely not see Cottony. So I do have to shield this Sky Attack. And he did use both shields. So I'm just going to go straight for the Surf. In comes the Cottony. In comes the Pharaoh Seed. In comes my Iron Head. And this is going to be a good game. We just have to see what is in the back. And it's going to be that Altaria coming in to get farmed down. But they get to a Sky Attack. Not sure if this KOs. And it does. 
Marsh time coming back in to mud shot down in Altaria. Oh, but I'm going to throw the surf just in case to be safe because we still don't know what's in the back. Altaria goes down and out comes a Skrelp. You absolutely love to see it. Marsh Tob coming in clutch with that mud bomb. What shotting this scrub? Let's go. Let's get it. Up against our next opponent will be a female Nidoran. Now, this is a pretty neutral matchup, and there is an argument to be made here that I should have switched out sooner. But I was going to get him to throw a couple moves first just to see if he was going to go for, yep, his poison fang and perhaps a body slam. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the iron here, but that forces a CMP tie. I also let this go, Pharaoh, so you can take this. And it's still a Poison Fang. So I think this is a single-moved Nidoran. I'm going to go ahead and throw the Iron Head here, and this will get a shield. So he's going to throw his Poison Fang again, but I'm going to shield just to preserve some health. And I was thinking about catching a Poison Fang on the Marsh Top here, but I get to my Iron Head first because there was a bunch of lag. So I just throw the Iron Head anyways, hoping to get another shield. But he lets it go, so this is good. This breathes a sigh of relief. But now a Wooper comes in. And this is where I kind of regretted it. Because if my Marsh Tump loses that matchup, then we've got Chinchu against Wooper, and that's a bad day. So this also could be a bad day if there was a Grass in the back. So we are going to play the one shield here. I'm going to let the first one come through. It is going to hurt. But I think I'm going to be able to get to two. I throw just before he gets to his body slam. Because I get to my Mud Bomb. He's also got Mud Shots. So we get to ours about the same time. Any shield. So this is good. And I throw the Surf again. This is going to do a ton of neutral damage. It's not going to KO. But this is okay. He throws. So I am going to let this go. I mean, I don't think he could have Mud Shotted down. I would have Mud Shotted him down first. But I was worried about the Jinju here. He does make a swap. And the Duckler comes in, forces me to throw all of my energy, which is totally okay. Because I've got one shield for this. Thunderbolt one-shotting the Ducklet. And we come in to aggressively farm down. And he does throw, but we've got a shield. So this is looking good. Body slam coming through. Yeah, Jinju taking the win. Up against our next opponent, a fellow Spice Lord running a Woobat. Pretty neutral matchup here, but it is worse for us because they are running Confusion. It's 4 Confusions to Aerial Ace, 5 to a Psychic. So they threw on 4, this is an Aerial Ace. I am going to shield just to preserve some health, because I did build up to the Iron Head. I'm going to over farm a bit, throw before they get to their next Aerial Ace, and hopefully force a shield. There it goes. They get to their next move. And I'm going to let this go through. Then I can come in with Chinchu and farm down, hopefully. But it doesn't KO. And we get to our next Iron Head before that Confusion goes through. So if they shield, we go down. If they don't, we do. That's fine. So we survive. We win switch. And a Venusaur comes in to farm us down. And we're going to Northwest on out of there because we got double water. That's what I get for not switching out sooner. But we did get a 4-1 with some spice, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe only if you like the content. I've been Arbor Andy, and I'll see y'all next time.